Hello everybody, Fuzzy Face here, back with another edition of this playthrough of Motorsport Manager. We're back with the Predator Racing Team. We did quite well in the first race of the season of the World Motorsport Championship. Both drivers score. got in the points. Yeah, Pernay got on the podium third place, picked up on a massive 15 points. Santorana finished 10th, got one point for that. Not too bad, so 16 points overall. We're currently third in the Constructors after one race. Absolutely brilliant. 16 points is possibly more than enough to actually stay up this season so if we do not manage to get in the points again then we are safe for the rest of the season we have started scouting a couple of new drivers we've got a new gearbox in the works at the moment we got our sort of ghastly sort of outlandish car design as we always do we went skulls we went leopard design now we've gone with like a reverse leopard design with white in there so continuing the theme of really bad uh, livery <laughs> that we've had running here so 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 I just wanted to check something here yeah nope everything's uh, as it should be we've done the sponsor we've got some sponsor offers here but we're gonna wait for the, all these to expire to see if we can get a uh, three-star sponsor in here somewhere hopefully with a little bit more money available as it is we're bringing in 1.1 a race we need to finish fifth or above to get the uh, sponsorship bonuses, but it shouldn't really have a problem with that. Tyres, we usually, I usually just set up the same way. We shouldn't need the medium tyre. No, we shouldn't need the medium tyre. Hopefully, we possibly do this 14 laps in one, in two super softs. So we could do one stop with two super soft tyres, or we might have to go super soft and then soft, depending on how quick the tyres wear out. But yeah, so we don't need the medium tyre, so we're going to take uh, extra softs here, just in case. We shouldn't need the medium tyre at all this weekend. Uh, part fitting, everything should be in the car. We've got the uh, got the new suspension part in Pernay's car. Everything else is reliable enough. Santa Anna, obviously her parts are reliable enough. Because we do have the nurse stat there. There's only actually three parts to work on, but we're working on them all anyway, sort of slowly. As we work on the uh, performance a lot more. So everything is going to be done here. Ready for the next race. So then we can concentrate on getting uh, Santa Rana's parts totally up to scratch here. So that's it. I'm going to go now. We're going to go. I'm going to go. Yeah, so I'm going to run practice now. And we'll come back with the results of practice. And see how we got on. And then get on with qualifying. Right, so not too bad with practice. Pernay. Not too far off here, we didn't do any pushing at all during practice, we didn't run any sort of like full on qualifying sort of simulation, I ran a lot of race simulations here, just try to get a good idea on fuel wear, how much fuel we'd use, like running overtake mode, working out that uh, using overtake mode uses 1.33 laps of fuel per lap, high uses 1.07, medium uses 0.9 and running in low mode uses 0.84 so there's not much difference between medium low medium recovers 0.1 lap of fuel per lap whereas low recovers 0.16 per lap so we don't really need to run at medium or lower all during the race because we can actually fuel up because of the rule changes that have been in effect here what I would like to do during the race is actually see if we can run in overtake mode for the entire race since we have no limitations on fuel and because we can fill like up to 80% of the uh, we can fill up to 80% of the actual race up we should be able to put enough into running overtake mode for both uh, for both stints that we're going to do because we're going to be doing a one a one stop strategy around Yokohama so we managed to get super soft and qualifying trim there's not a lot of time in practice here you don't get very long to get everything up to where you want it to be so we're focusing on the tyres that are going to be the fastest and qualifying trim because it's a bit more important to get track, track position at the start rather than the bonus for the race I feel so that's what we've got car set up we didn't get too we weren't too good because Latinen set the time in this car because obviously Latinen is a pair driver so we get some money for her taking practice she wasn't happy at the start and we didn't manage to get this going the right way so we need to go the other way totally with handling don't we we need to take handling more this way and try to show the speed balance back up 
see if that works a little bit better. We've got enough, uh, we've got four pairs of super softs here that we could use. Obviously we only need two of them. Actually three, because we possibly might be able, depending on whether we can get through seven laps, but I'm possibly not because we're going to have to run it in high mode, so we're possibly going to get seven out of this, six maybe. Yeah, probably aim to come in around the sixth lap and then finish the race on the soft tyres, which is what we'll be doing there. But the setting that we got, which was the same that we ran in Santa Ana, the Santa Ana Latinum combination, uh, Pernier was actually really, really happy with that from the offset, so we didn't actually tweak anything about it. So we're looking pretty good for qualifying here. Hopefully we can crack the top five. I don't think it's looking likely. But yeah, you can never say never. But anyway, we're gonna I'm just gonna run through a little bit, and then we'll come back when it's time for these ladies to set their flying laps, and we'll see how we do from there. Right, so they're both on their flying laps now. Santa Ana in front, Pernay just behind. Um, this is the first time that we've done a qualifying session on this new. Uh, it's, since we've done the patch, because the, the last episode that I put on, I'd had to film for possibly a few days. I think it is. This is the first time that we're doing it on the new patch that came out. I think it's a beta patch, but it downloaded automatically where most of these cars act as like ghost cars during qualifying. They don't actually get in your way. But it doesn't matter because we did have a clear track anyway, so we don't get to see how that worked out here. Santa ran it across the line in 8th, quicker than not many of the cars here. Pernay doing quite a little bit better. So Pernay 1.3 seconds behind at the moment. Santa Ana about a second slower, yeah, a second slower than... Uh, Pernay, so that's possibly the quality, the difference in quality between the drivers. So it might be best thinking about going ahead and swapping Santa Ana uh, sooner rather than later because a second a lap is a big difference to make up here when we could put when we could possibly be having both cars up near the top of the order if we did that. Pernay down in 12th here, so. It just depends how we go on with the races here, whether Pernay is getting like massive jumps on Santa Ana or not. We just have to wait and see about that, but that's it for the first lap. I'm going to come back out towards the end of the session. I don't think there's any rain forecast here. So I'm going to come back out again at the end of the, se end of the session, and as usual, we'll come back for the flying lap and see how we get on with that final lap in qualifying. Right, so they're both on the final lap now. Don't know if we're going to be able to improve here or not. Let's just see what these sector times are like. They're both going slower in the first sector than, than what they did the last time out. So it looks like 13th and 18th is where we're going to finish up here. Yeah, both still going slower here. So 13th and 18th, possibly where we would have been expecting to finish up here. Yeah, they both go pretty much the same times as they got last time. So that's pretty indicative of what we should be expecting if we sort of run in that mode. We're aiming for six laps, hopefully off the first uh, first uh, stint here before the first pit stop during the race so as I said I am considering trying to experiment and see what it's like to run in full overtake mode for the race so if we're gonna do six laps it is uh, what is it is 1.33 per lap we'll use up in fuel just about Depending on how long it takes us to get to the start line, obviously, we'll possibly burn up a little bit more than that at the start. So we would need 7.98 laps of fuel to do 6 laps. So that is what we're going to go ahead and put in the car here. Which is 8 laps of fuel we need to do 6 laps in overtake mode. So we do need Nurse still for Santa Ana. Whereas, if we're going to run the whole whole race in overtake mode do we need engine expert I would guess so so hopefully that's gonna work out for us there so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going on the super softs and it's worked it out as well for us we need eight laps of fuel actually so takes them out so we're coming out with eight laps of fuel in hope there's gonna should be enough distance between Pernay and Santa Ana that they shouldn't say that that they shouldn't um, stack in the pits if there is we might have to think about turning Santa Ana down a little bit earlier if they're staying pretty close together and try to keep Santa Ana out for an extra lap well that's what we're doing we're going with eight laps of fuel here so we do need do need eight laps in the car so we can 
we'll go ahead and push the tyres just to get the heat in them to start off with here and see if we can get them through six laps at which point we could be we can put the soft tyre in which should last nine laps which should see us through to the end of the race hopefully and let's just see what sort of start we can well it's only got seven laps of fuel in I put eight laps of fuel in I put eight laps of fuel in then why is it only giving us seven it said eight up here it said seven new eight and it said eight up on the I don't know what happens there So you use quite a bit at the start as well, don't you? Where's that? No, 6.91. It said 8 up here. It said 8 when I filmed the car up as well, on this side, new. Sorry, I did. Anyway, um, right, let's try and figure this out again. So what are we going to have to do? It's going to have to be... We've got 7 laps of fuel, haven't we? So it's going to have to be that we do three laps in overtake mode and three laps in high mode. And that will see us through. Maybe we should do two laps overtake, then the three in high, and then the last one in overtake mode if we need it. Possibly what we're going to go for. A lot of these have started turning down already, whereas we've got all this fuel in the car. Santa Ana struggling at the back of the field here. Although mixing it up with the two Veyron cars. Is that the Veyron? And uh, Pernay is moving up the order. Are these... No, they're the Espirits, aren't they? Pernay moving up the field here really well. So we could possibly run in high mode without too much trouble. So maybe we should turn down. No, we'll do another lap in overtake mode and then we'll turn down to high. Whereas we should possibly try to think about making these tyres last here. Pernay actually set a couple of fast sectors there before they disappeared, didn't she, on the last lap. I don't know whether she actually got the fastest lap, but she's making quite a few moves here. Up into 8th now, Santa Ana's actually stormed through the field up into 12th. So what we're getting onto here, this is going to be lap 3, so we're going to have to turn down after this one, at which point we should just have enough to get to uh, lap 6. Possibly got a lot of life in the tyre as well. So we can possibly start pushing these as well. What if we used up in two laps? No, we don't actually have enough, do we? Because it's only been two laps. So what can we get out of Pernay here? Are we actually losing time a little bit? Are we? No, she's actually gaining on Holtz, who is in... And a lot of these, oh no, the safety car's coming in, the safety car's coming out. Alright, oh, Santa Ana that's crashed. <laughs> Santa Ana has actually crashed here. So a lot of these at the back are going to get to come into the pits, aren't they? Pretty early. So what can we get here? What can we possibly think about doing? Would a medium get us through to the end of the race? Or should we do two stops on a quicker tyre? Can put 12 laps of fuel in the car that's not enough to do 10 laps in overtake mode which we would need 14 laps of fuel in the car to do that let's just see what we're let's just see what a lot of these cars are doing at the back they should all be getting no they're all coming actually past the pits aren't they so it's not going to affect us too much we're going to get a, like a free pit stop here under the medium tire we're going to be running in low mode for a couple So what we've got to do then, what we've got to do with Pernay is we're going to come in for the medium, we're going to try to stretch it to the end of the race because we're going to have the safety car out for a little bit. We're running low behind the safety car, we'll put 12 laps of fuel in. It's not quite enough to get us to the end of the race with like 2 laps on low mode and then like 8 laps on overtake mode, we will use just over 12 laps of fuel but we could always turn down to high for a couple of laps and regain that fuel if we need to. So we'll try fast to see if we can pick up any uh, any sort of uh, any sort of position in the uh, pits. But with that, we're a bit far behind here. We're actually gaining. No, we're not. 
We don't actually have to make this fuel last, although we could do, because then we'll have a quicker pit stop, won't we? Since all these cars are just uh, sort of uh, staying at the right sort of distance from each other. So, but we're going to fill up quite high here, so we might lose a place. Hopefully we can get back out in 8th place. Yes, we can. That is perfect there. So, we can possibly conserve these tyres for a little bit. Or even back them up for a little bit. And then we can try and get some temperature back in them just before the safety car is going to go back in. But anyway, we're going to come back. Because we're going to be behind the safety car for a little bit here. And we're going to come back when it's time for race time. Everyone else has come out of medium tyres. A lot of these at the back have actually skipped a pit stop. So we're possibly not going to have to worry about these. It's whether, whether we can move up on these through just running in overtake mode. Hopefully we can get Pernay above fifth. But we'll come back when the safety car is about to go in and resume the race from there. Right, so we're about to restart this race. The safety car is going back in. Uh, we conserved the tyre pretty well. It only used 6% going round twice. Yeah, twice it went round 6% running in backup mode. We've just gone back up to medium here. Maybe we should push it a little bit. A lot of the other cars are going to push this tyre for maybe a lap. Maybe we should copy them. But what we need with eight laps to go, it will say nine here because we haven't crossed the line. What we need with eight laps to go is 10.64 laps of fuel to get round eight times in overtake mode. So we should be able to finish this race in overtake mode now without any problems of running out of fuel. So we're just going to go ahead now and see how we can do here. We've only got Pernay to uh, only got Pernay to concentrate on, and that's Fox in one of the uh, yeah, that's Fox in one of the. Uh, Oh, what's it called in this now? The Rossini, the equivalent of Ferrari. It's because I've been playing the F1 mod. I've forgotten all the names of the cars in this, uh, in the original base game. So we don't want to push these tyres too long because we need them to last. We want them to outlast the other tyres around us because we should be able to sort of keep up as they start winding them down if they go even too long here. And Schmidt, who's on a super soft, but he's about to dive into the pits here. So hopefully per we can just stay inside the points here nice and comfortably. That is definitely all that we need from this race. We shouldn't be expecting to finish too high up the order like we did last time out. So, is anyone else turning their... No one else is turning their tyres down here. So are these tyres going to last quite a long time? Someone else crashed them, but it's just a virtual safety car that came out for a second. And it's going to be a big gap opening up soon because these are all going to need to pit. I don't know why they didn't pit when the safety car came out. We're, we're on the back of Holtz who is in a Katana which is the, uh, the McLaren equivalent. So we can just keep pushing like this. And they're going to have to turn down at some point maybe. Maybe they haven't put the fuel in the, t uh, the, fuel in the car to get around. I'm going to have to think about turning down at some point just to see this through. Maybe we should go for push mode. We're going to start dropping behind with that. We are going to start dropping behind in push mode. Because Holtz is still pushing her tyres. But we don't want these to wear out here. Hopefully try to keep a little bit more life in them than the AI cars are doing for the end of the race. And if they wear, if they wear their tyres out then we should be able to make some ground up on them pretty easily towards the end of the race. So maybe that's the uh, sort of strategy we're going for. Another car's just hit the pits which moves us up, in, up into 7th place here. Who have we got behind us? We've got Ribeiro, who is in a Veyland. It's one of the cars that isn't quite as good as ours, so we should have no problem staying ahead of that. Got three laps to go after this one. Three laps of fuel. We should need 3.99 here. 1.33 times 3. So we've got plenty of fuel just to keep going in overtake mode here. The condition's not dropping, so that's a good sign for the future that we can just run these races in overtake mode. It's just a matter of whether we're not going to actually catch up in overtake mode, are we? Unless a lot of these cars start turning down pretty soon as they're trying, yeah, they're starting to turn their tyres down as well. So we should be able to make some time back up here. Hopefully catch Holtz in one of the Katanos. It's going to be hard catching Wexler in one of the Windsors, the Williams equivalent. Although Fox in that Rossini is starting to have problems, so maybe we can gain that place as well. So it's just a matter of when we can catch a couple of these. We've got a back marking coming up, so maybe that'll hold Holtz up. Although Holtz is holding up, us up at the moment. And uh, actually running out of fuel, a couple of these cars. And we're actually pushing Holtz here as we come around to start the final lap after this corner. We've actually got past, have we? 
up into six from Pernet. Absolutely brilliant driving. So where's Fox ahead of us? Are we catching Fox? We are catching Fox. I don't think we've got. What are his tyres like? What are his tyres like? Are they worse than ours? Is Fox worse than ours? Have we got a little bit of room to push it? I try catch. I don't think we have. But should we risk it anyway? No, Fox is starting to pull away now. She's pushing her tyres as well. Even though we're running in a richer fuel mix, we're still actually losing ground on the Rossini. So that's the difference in quality of the car. I don't think we're going to lose sixth place here. But yeah, sixth place, not bad overall there for Pernay. Pretty brilliant racing overall in the end from Pernay. Just a shame that Santa Ana crashed because she could, possibly could have been in the points as well. So not bad all around 6th place, really happy with a 6th place, especially in this Predator car. We're still going in the right direction. Although it would have been really nice to see what Santa Ana could have done around this track. She was in 12th when she crashed. Um, possibly she could have moved up a little bit further from that as well. But the biggest thing to take away from this is that the condition of the car didn't drop dramatically. Really low from being in overtake mode for the entire race is that something we can take into uh, that's something we can take into consideration in races going forward see everyone up in the top half of the order pitted when the safety car came out all these didn't for some reason maybe because the computer didn't want to double stack maybe that's a uh, maybe that's uh, because they had the fuel to go a little bit longer anyway because they had set up for the race that way they didn't want to risk a pit stop when they possibly would have been double stacking with teammates and so on and so forth. I don't know. Usually every other car dives into the pits, but maybe they've got a little bit smarter with uh, how the safety car works with the new patch. Maybe that's why they didn't come out. But Alexia Perne moved up seven places there. Uh, Pascal Becker in the Rossini gets 27 points because there is now a two-point bonus also for getting pole position now in the World Motorsport Championship. Champions uh, Chapman second, Panther Windsor. Right, so, who's in the other Steinman? Who's in the other Steinman? Aki Lippinen, because Aika Vidal, who we were competing with last season, who did pretty poorly in the chariot car, where Maria Gonzalez did really good with it. He is now the reserve driver at Steinman. We tried to make a move for him. And that puts Pernay in fifth place here, 23 points. We should be on 24 points now. We're hanging in the top half of the table still. Uh, Velen and Esperit still waiting to pick up points, and Van Dor only have a few points to their name. So everyone's still really happy here. Uh, Pernay still building her relationship with Roger Dunbar. We came fifth above expectations of eighth. So happiness all around there. Got 1.13. Obviously we 1. Point, yeah 1.13. Obviously we didn't pick up any bonuses because we didn't get inside the top five. Only just because uh, Pernay was six. But we're now fifth and fourth in the drivers and constructors respectively. Um. Thornton actually beating Chariot. We've got two former World Motorsport Championship teams there competing at the top. So we've got quite a bit of time now, I think, until. No, Beijing up in 10 days. So let's just have a look here. Stein Motorsport looks way ahead in practice. Becca pits Chapman to poor car condition update. Santa Rana used 85. Yeah, that's because she crashed, didn't it? So it's going to take a while to uh, fix that car. We're gonna have the new. Uh, we're gonna have the new. Oh no, Wexler here. Is he getting paid? His contract's up at the end of the season, and he took a step down for Windsor. So whether he would take another little bit of a step down for us, no, he's not interested. With uh, with our performance going on through the season, whether he would consider signing for us, I don't know. But we should have some new sponsorship offers coming here. This gearbox is going to be built, but not good enough to go in the car. So I'm just going to skip ahead 10 days and we'll finish the episode when we're just at the beginning of the Beijing race. So then we can get jump into the race straight away for the next episode. And we'll come back at that point unless there's any emails that we have to deal with. Right, so we're back just before the Beijing race now. Nothing much happened. We got the new gearbox built. Possibly not going to build anything just yet, maybe. Maybe we can do a front wing. There's nothing here that really adds to the car other than this one so maybe we need to get to that point so we can build this one to improve that uh, possibly do need some help on low speed corners so we, yeah we won't go ahead and build that one 
and then it gives us access to this one that we can build. And that's not going to be done until after this race. Uh, we've got the new gearbox built, obviously it's not reliable to go in a car yet. It would possibly be good enough to go in Santa Ana's car, but we'll think about that next episode just before we go ahead for the race. But as I thought, we've now got a three star sponsorship level open up here, but it's not upfront payment again. But 10th or above, 400,000. Is it going to be worth going for that rather than 5th or above at 800,000? It's possibly worth trying to go for 5th or above since we're pretty clear there. So should we go for just the upfront payment since we're possibly not going to be going for this one? It's only for 6 races anyway. We'll go for the upfront payment. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave this episode. We're going to be coming back for the Chinese Grand Prix next time, the Beijing Grand Prix. And we'll see how we do there. But anyway, for now... We're not doing too badly, still 6th place for Pernay, obviously disappointing with the crash for Santa Ana. I don't think it affected her at all, she's got no bruises or all, sometimes they get like busted up and get like a sort, it usually says like neck issues and stuff like that. But that hasn't happened to her here, so she's got now a 10th for the 20th. We're just going to see how she does in Beijing, if she can get all the way around there without uh, crashing, it's 19 laps next time. Quite a way around, so we're going to have to do some... Uh, yeah, just work out the fuel again for that, because it's possibly going to be a two-stopper, depending on what we can get out of the tyres. But until next time, yeah, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, I have just, well, probably a little while ago, so it's going to be, no, this video is going on tomorrow, so yeah. I think it was uh, the day before I actually filmed this, so it'll be two days before I actually put this video on that we actually hit 100 subscribers. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed. Everyone that subscribed to this ser series early on and has given a lot of comments and support through the whole series. Just a big thank you to everyone. But yeah, go ahead and hit the like button on this video as well and leave a comment down below. But until next time, I will see you down the road in Beijing and goodbye.